What women really want. Choose a woman who chooses you. If a man wants a woman who doesn't want him, he cannot win. His neediness will undermine any possible relationship, and his woman will never be able to trust him. A man must determine whether a woman really wants him but is playing hard to get, or whether she really doesn't want him. If she doesn't want him, he should immediately cease pursuing her and deal with his pain by himself. You cannot enjoy a good relationship with her, even if she changes her mind. Once she feels your neediness, once she feels that you need her more than she needs you, she will never trust your masculine core. The priority of the masculine core is mission, purpose, or direction in life. The priority of the feminine core is the flow of love and intimacy. If a woman feels your feminine is stronger than hers, if she feels that the intimacy is more important to you than to her, then she will naturally animate her masculine. She will want space. She will want freedom to pursue her own direction, and she will be repulsed by your clinginess. Of course, you must discriminate between whether she is playing hard to get or whether she is genuinely less interested in the relationship than you. This is why you should ask your friends, and even her friends, what she wants is not what she says. Sometimes a woman will make a request of her man in plain English, not to get him to do something, but to see if he is so weak that he will do it. In other words, she is testing his capacity to do what is right, not what she is asking for. In such cases, if the man does what his woman asks, she will be disappointed and angry. The man will have no idea why she is so angry or what could possibly please her. He must remember that her trust is engendered not by him fulfilling her requests, but by him magnifying love, consciousness, and success in their lives, in spite of her requests. If you are a weak man, this feminine trait of wanting one thing and asking for another will piss you off. You will wonder, why don't you just tell me what you really want, instead of saying one thing and meaning another, expecting me to figure it out? This is the view of a man who does not understand that women are an incarnation of the Divine Feminine, and the Divine Feminine settles for nothing less than the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine is consciousness. A superior man practices maintaining full consciousness in all situations. Always apply your sword of discrimination to your woman's requests, never taking them at face value, but always checking with your deepest wisdom and following the road of your highest truth even if it seems to mean disappointing your woman. She won't be disappointed if she feels you are strong and clear in the true direction of your heart. And if she is disappointed by your deepest truth, you shouldn't be with her. Your excellent track record is meaningless to her. A man's track record means nothing to the feminine. A man could be perfect for ten years, but if he's an asshole for thirty seconds, his woman acts like he's always been one. The feminine responds to the moment of energy forgetting her man's history of past behavior. A man's past behavior is irrelevant to his woman's feeling in the moment. But men base much on another man's history of behavior, so they think their own track record should count for something. But to a woman, it doesn't. There is no use trying to mitigate her anger by referring to your great track record. To the feminine, history is irrelevant, so your mistake is as easily forgotten as your successes. As soon as you see she's upset, immediately assume happiness. Shock her with your love. Make her smile and laugh with your humor. Surprise her in some loving way, and the emotional slate will be wiped clean. Your momentary failure will be effectively vanished, as irrelevant as the long line of your successes.